The world is filled with mysterious and strange monuments and artifacts. The more archaeologists dig, the more stuff they're going to find. From monster cows to a pit full of heads. Let's talk about this and more only in today's video. Starting off this countdown, we have the creepy tiny hand. In June of 2018, archaeologists working at the Roman fort of Vindolanda found this very creepy, lifelike miniature bronze hand. Like it even creeped them out. They were like, whoa, what the hell is that? Anyways, the hand was found near a temple that was devoted to the god Jupiter Dolichinus. Apparently a mysterious cult would worship Jupiter there. So they think that this hand has something to do with all that cult and worshipping things. Others think that the hand was left there as an offering after a major invasion in Scotland in which a number of people got killed. So hands down, it's probably cursed. Get it? Hands down. In our ninth spot today, we have the out of place bones. So let's talk about Stonehenge for a second now. There's already so much mystery surrounding the monuments there, but things got stranger when a number of bones were excavated in the area. Now, finding bones at a historical site is not new news, but the thing with these bones is that they came from more than 100 miles away. So the people that were buried there weren't even living there. So that means that people would carry the dead people's bodies to Stonehenge and then bury them there. And scientists still aren't sure why. Even if it was just a burial site, why would people transport bodies from miles and miles away just to be buried there? It must have had some significant purpose. Coming in at number eight, we have the monster cows. Now, if you guys know me by now, then you know I absolutely love cows. But what I didn't know is that back in the day, there used to be giant cows that they called monster cows, now referred to as auroch. These monster cows were double the size of normal cattle and they were big enough to provide food for 300 people. So yeah, they were chunkers. <laughs> well, in 2018, archaeologists discovered hoof prints from this cow. Sadly, engineers working in the area accidentally punctured a large hole through a structure near Stonehenge and then destroyed some of the cow print. In the area, they also unearthed cow jaws. Now here's a crazy theory. Some researchers believe that Stonehenge was built with the help of these monster cows, which is how the giant stones got transported there. The cows lugged them around. This hasn't been proven though, it's just a theory. In our seventh spot, we have the Valley of Golden Mummies. Back in 1996, a man named Zahi Hawis and his team discovered 250 mummies. These mummies were located about 380 kilometers west of the pyramids. Initially, they found only 105 mummies. They excavated four tombs and that's when they found these mummies. All of them were adorned with chest plates and were covered with a tinge of golden colors. Hence why they were given the name of the Golden Mummy. All of them were around 2,000 years old, yet they were in pretty damn good condition. As they kept searching, more and more mummies were found. It's believed that over the years, 10,000 mummies have been found, which is absolutely insane. In our sixth spot today, we have the black sarcophagus. In July of 2018, a massive black mysterious sarcophagus was found in Egypt. It apparently is over 2,000 years old. People were so scared of this thing, they're like, don't open it. They thought it would contain a curse that would end the world. I mean, it was very strange. Sarcophagus are often painted and are bright and have details on it. This was just a sealed black granite case. When it was opened, it contained the remains of three Egyptian army officers, as well as nasty reddish brown sewage liquid. If you've seen the hashtag sarcophagus juice meme, then you know that this is where it came from. But honestly, with how the current state of the world is right now, maybe opening the sarcophagus did unleash a curse. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with the underground labyrinth of death. Archaeologists working at a monument in Peru in 2018 have discovered 35 interlocking underground secret tunnels. They didn't actually go explore themselves, so they sent down these like robot things to search the temple. Well, while down there, they found a number of creepy graves, as well as several people buried underneath rocks. They believed that these people were sacrificed in rituals and then buried in this labyrinth. Hence why it's called the Labyrinth of Death. It's just filled with dead people. If you thought the Paris catacombs were scary, wait till you go to this place. Archaeologists are currently doing studies on the bodies buried there to figure out more about this area and, you know, the dead people. 
In our fourth spot, we have the lead encased hearts. In 2015, archaeologists exploring the convent of the Jacobins in France found something pretty shocking. They found five lead shaped hearts. Upon opening them, they found five human hearts on the inside. So the case was symbolic of what was on the inside. You know, a little heart with the heart inside. It's cute, kind of. The heart shaped urn locket things dated back to 400 years ago. Now, of course, they didn't want to destroy this discovery, so they did a number of tests on the hearts, including MRIs and CTs. That's when it was revealed that most of the hearts had a disease. Most had plaque buildup in the heart's arteries. Turns out that it was common during this time period for someone to be buried with the heart of their husband or wife. And that's kind of cute. Like it shows that you have their hearts or they have yours forever. Coming in at number three, we have the gerbil teeth. The Lothagim North Pillar site in Kenya is the oldest and largest cemetery site in Eastern Africa. Over the years, a number of treasures have been unearthed there. From ivory rings to jewelry made out of beautiful, colorful gemstones, and even gerbil headdresses. Yeah, you heard me correctly. Archaeologists unearthed a headpiece made out of 405 gerbil teeth. First off, how many gerbils did they need to complete this project? Second, why gerbils? Third, who the hell counted all those gerbil teeth to know that it was actually composed of 405 teeth? These are the questions I need answers to, people. In our second spot, we had the Neanderthals. Over in Goyet, Belgium, scientists made a shocking discovery. They unearthed a burial site for Neanderthals. Most of them were eaten alive by other Neanderthals. Six of the individuals had marks on their bones that suggested that other Neanderthals were carving their flesh off of them and then eating them. They had clear signs of cutting and fractures in their bones. The eaters would do this because it would allow them to extract the bone marrow from the bodies. So that's great. Back in the day, humans ate one another. And in our number one spot today, we have the pit full of heads. As you can imagine, this is as horrifying as it seems. So while working at the Great Wall of China, archaeologists found a number of interesting items. They found thousands of jade items and axes and scepters, and then they found a pit full of severed heads. They found about 80 heads in six pits under the city's walls. It is believed that they were all victims of sacrifices during the city's founding ceremony, and all of them were young women. In fact, after analyzing the bones, it showed that they were not from the area, so they were kidnapped, taken as captives, and then sacrificed. Alright guys, that's all for today's video. Let me know in the comments below which one of these items freaked you out the most. And now, speaking of comments, let's move on to our comment shout out portion. I'll be shouting out comments from the video, top 10 deadliest substances from space you shouldn't touch. Vlad the Impaler commented, I will probably never get to space so I won't be touching any, any deadly space substances. I thought the same. It's like we're warning you, but I don't think we're ever going to get the chance to touch the things from space. I don't want to go to space at all. Sorry, Elon. Uh, Sandapan Chatterjee commented, I feel a strange fear while listening about space. Honestly, I used to have the biggest fear about space. Literally terrified. I was like, I would look up in the sky and be like, I hope a meteorite doesn't come crashing down and kill me. I'm better now. As you can tell, I'm doing these lists and I'm joking about it. And Randolph Stain commented, hell, I'm gonna touch anything from space and develop superpowers, lol. Uh, yeah, there's two types of people in the world. People that are like, no, stay the hell away from that. Other people that are like, oh, I could get superpowers, you know? No, don't touch it. You're gonna probably die. Anyways, all right guys, that's all the comments I'm shouting out for today's video. Make sure to comment something down below for a chance to be featured in my next comment shout out. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Most Amazing Top 10 for more amazing videos. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, and I'll see you when I see you.